In this video, guys, we're going to go over the linking features of FCS Networker. In this video, we're going to concentrate on the regular linking. Uh, we'll make separate videos for Link Wheel and Pyramid. So uh, this video is just going to concentrate on our regular linking options. Um, so when creating a project, you have the option to automatically inject links into your articles. And the way we do that is by using link sets. Um, we have a separate video on link sets and creating link sets. And uh, if you want to create link sets beforehand, you could go to the link sets page and set up your link sets, but you could also do it straight from the projects page. So let's say we have uh, articles that we want to add links to. So we'd select the linking option. And then you'll see we have the linking option there plus a couple of extra options, which are secondary links and authority links. So, um, First, we would choose what links we're going to be injecting into the articles. And you have your saved link sets here that you could flip through and you could select multiples if you wanted. Um, or you can just create a new link set right there. So uh, new link set. Uh, I'm just going to make something up here. Dog training. Dogs. Behavior for dogs. Sorry, I'm just making things up. Secondary anchors would be um, training dogs properly. Okay, and then I want the main anchors 80% of the time, and let's choose. So now we have created a new link set. So our new link set is there. Um, but once again, you could just use saved link sets if you want and choose some of those. But for this, we just create a link set on the fly. We choose that. So what percentage of the articles do we want to get links? Let's say we want 80% of the articles to actually have links. 20% will just have no links at all. Um, the use URL as anchor percentage. Basically, instead of using these keyword rich anchors like dog training, dogs, behavior for dogs, we're going to select a percentage of time where it actually just used the URL of the link as the anchor text, which just looks a little more natural in Google and kind of builds your branding. So we'll say about 25% of the time we're going to use the URL as anchor text. Then when it gets down to positioning, we have four options for positioning. Random replace keywords between paragraphs and bottom and just bottom. Random is going to replace, uh, is going to place the links basically totally randomly. It could be in between words. It, it basically is just going to fall anywhere. So um, sometimes it, it'll fit in nicely. Sometimes it will make no sense. It literally just randomly puts the links in wherever. Uh, between paragraphs and bottom is pretty self-explanatory. It'll put the links between either between the paragraphs or at the bottom. And then just bottom will just place your links at the bottom. Then we also have an option for a bit more control um, over your link placement. This will replace keywords. So let me show you how this works. If you want to replace the keywords, uh, you saw our link set was about dog training. So let's assume our article is about dog training. So I want to replace um, the keyword uh, dog behavior. Okay, you could do multiple, let's just say, and dogs. We want to replace these two keywords. Now it's asking you what anchor text. Basically what that means is do you want, when we find the word dog behavior in the article, and then we're going to um, replace that with a link, do we want to also replace the word dog behavior with one of our anchors from our link set. So basically one of these anchors will replace the word dog behavior and be linked. Or we could choose to just keep these keywords so it'll just add a link to dog behavior when it finds that word. So basically that's what that means. It's asking if you want to replace the words found uh, with link set anchors or if you just want to keep the words and just have them linked. Um, so for this demonstration, uh, let's just say we choose random, and then the amount per article from one to two. That means for each article that's getting links, they'll have between one or two links from this link set right there injected into the article. 
Now we have these extra options. Secondary links is exactly the same as these primary links right here. It just another set so let's say we wanted to also add these link sets but have different control over them it's uh, these link sets we only wanted 10 percent of the time put in there randomly and only one of these links it just gives you more control to have another set of links that you could uh set up so if we wanted 80 percent of the articles to get these links and only 10 percent to get these links just gives you a lot of control but once again you don't have to set that up that's just an extra option and then we also have authority links now what authority links are are basically links out to authority pages within your niche so what FCS will do is we would take the word dog training and that'll be the keyword and we want let's say half the articles to get oops get half the articles to get um, let's say two or three of these links so if you uh, activate this, FCS is going to go out and find uh, authority links within your niche and link out to them automatically. And whatever percentage of the articles you selected, how you position and the amount per article, we will inject those into your articles also. Authority links are a great thing to add to your articles. It just makes them look more natural. And uh, just Google loves to see that you know, your site is being linked to in the same article that let's say the Wikipedia article on dog training is linked to. It just helps build your trust with Google. So authority links is a very cool feature and it's all done automatically um, if you select that. But once again, you don't need to select either of these um, when choosing regular linking. So that's basically a regular linking feature. Um, I'll do a separate video on the link wheel and the pyramid. Um, but this should give you a basic idea of how our uh, linking uh, feature works in FCS. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.